Hey y'all, it's me, your fave Jazz on Fire, back again for another episode of Here's the Heat. More money, blow money, show money, party money, side hold money. Alright, so it's, you know, summertime. That means you're either running up a check or running up a tap. If you're anything like me, you're doing both. You know, porque no los dos. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I know why. No se, no se como ser responsable. Por eso, okay? Mentioned I was going to Costa Rica in for five days. Oh, yeah. So I've been working on mi español. Si, sí. es muy bueno. Delicioso. We out this hoe. Today's episode is going to be called How to Not Save with Jazz on Fire because they always show you the right way to do things and sometimes it's not always effective because you know how many, you know, how to budget videos I watch and it just don't work. So I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it so you can be better than me because you know what we say? Don't be like me. Be better than me. Great, great job. We're here. Background for this episode. Like I said, I'm going to Costa Rica in five days and I got like $17.32 in my bank account. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but just a tad. I mean, I have, I'm okay. But the thing is, y'all, like this life, this whole adult life with the bills and the car notes and the rents and, whoo, I just, whew, I can't, it's, it's not good for my, whoo, money, phew, gone. Like, I just, I can't. On that note, the very first thing we're going to say is make wiser food choices. You know, I know that healthier food and healthier options are always more expensive. Like this week, I'm on a diet. I'm doing my Miami diet. Because y'all saw how good I was looking in Miami? <laughs> I'm trying to be like that in Costa Rica. Bring me a little poppy home, okay? But your healthier options are a little bit more expensive. So, you know, if you if you can afford that, you want like this diet is only for like as long as the food lasts. Because <laughs> fruit, oh God, expensive. Like... Why you gotta charge me three dollars for a bag of lettuce? It's not, it's not even that big. Like I can, I can go get three burgers, three. I can go get a full for full. See what I mean? But even so, eating fast food that adds up. Like at one point, I was only spending like two, three dollars a day. I'm like, I'm gonna eat, look, I'm gonna eat light and cheap, and that added up. And those little two thirty seven and four twenty two transactions turned into four hundred and twenty two dollars. And I just we can't do that, okay? So we have to kind of. Dial it down a little bit with the food spending. Tip number two, block those promo emails. Okay, sis, just like you came home from school and you blocked your school boyfriend on all your social media so he can't, mm -hmm, just like that. Yeah, block those promo emails. Forever 21, Victoria's Secret, uh, Charlotte Roos. Oh, they closed down. My bad, rest in peace. All them hoes, block them. Because listen, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker. Because they'll be like, oh, 20% off, you'll save. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm finna save 20% off. What about the other age? stupid what? so tip number three when you go in the store you need to have tunnel vision okay if you're anything like me when i go in walmart or the beauty store they get me every time every time because listen i'd be like you know what? i'm just gonna go in here for some edge control and some deodorant and then i leave out with the pool floaty and a massage kit and i'm just like and my mindset is that I'll need this. You know, I've actually been wanting one of these. You know, I deserve this. Mm -mm. We're going to have to stop using self-care as a means to justify your, you know, disgusting shopping habits. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't do that. Tunnel vision. Go in, go out. You need to you need to black mama yourself. Tell yourself, when you go in the store, don't ask for nothing. Don't touch nothing. Don't pick up nothing. And do not try to grab anything. Next tip. I forgot what number we on. Y'all know I don't do this number stuff. I don't be remembering. Going too many tangents. But... You really gotta, you know, hit yourself with the we got McDonald's at the house. So when your friends be like, hey, let's go to Outback tomorrow. Or let's go to Gapman, Georgia's. Or let's go to the movies. Sometimes you gotta be like, let me know how it goes. See y'all when y'all get back. Enjoy your meal. When you say grace, you know, say a prayer for me too. And honestly, you know, if it just gets to a point where you're as bad as me and like money coming out fast and you can put it in, you just need to call them and be like, hey y'all, help. My car has been stolen, but I'm and I'm that person a fool. They wild and like they, please lock my cards and do not unlock it until I. Sorry, they have some sense, you know. I just I need to call them, tell them lock my cards. 
Y'all don't know what I'm mad about today. Listen. So basically, I got my first apartment and I signed up to pay my rent through this online service. And I'm like, that'll be easy because, you know, I'm not even there. I can pay it online. Blase, blase. So I set up the little account, set my bank account up, blase, blase, pay my rent on the first. I'm good. So I get the email saying my rent was paid, my rent was completed. You know, the payment, you know, went to my credit. I'm over here building credit, paying my rent. You know what? I guess I got to get something out of this. Six days later, on the day that it would be late, I get an email saying your payment was reversed. <laughs> Who? Long story short, these niggas charged me fifty dollars in late fees, and like it wasn't my fault. Y'all, I was I called everybody to customer. I called the bank. I went to the bank. When I went to the bank, I asked to see the bank. The person I went to see her supervisor. Her supervisor. I didn't like what her supervisor said, so I went to her supervisor. I called the corporate. I went to my property manager. My property manager. She couldn't do nothing. I called regional. I called corporate. I called everybody. Mm -hmm. But. Two days later, the property, you know, I don't even know who it was that called me back. I called so many people. But somebody is excusing $31, so that's a win. But still, that was $25 I didn't have. My bank is a whore, so. So, once again, don't be like me. Be better than me. Take the things I'm telling you and do the complete opposite because I obviously do not know what I'm talking about. But yeah, stack or starve or spin or all the other S's. Dollar signs. Broop. So next time you see me, it will be the Costa Rica episode. Give y'all a recap of my first time abroad. That's it. Hasta luego. Jasmine Fuego se va. Money, dope money, new clothes money from shit that I wrote money. So much money, I don't know who stole from me. Hard